Good morning, good afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session, the Friday 13th of July 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, Signal's market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of the market uh, price action then, basically we've uh, witnessed the NASDAQ make a new high uh, overnight, so quite an impressive move there. And NASDAQ currently trading around the 7370 zone. If I bring up the chart, the NASDAQ, you can see on the 10 minutes chart as well, to a large extent, you can see yesterday's gap higher in the market just ripped basically uh, above that 7300 zone. Okay, so quite a thrust, quite a significant thrust higher really on the daily chart. You can certainly perceive that as well. Very, very impressive. Obviously, as we go into earnings season, uh, NASDAQ certainly is very, very bullish. Now, even after hours as well, I think the pivot high. After hours has been even higher around 73.80, 73.90. So very bullish on the Nasdaq, and that obviously in and of itself is causing the S&P to push higher as well. So have to take your hats off there in terms of the actual market price action. Okay, so it certainly seems like Nasdaq is the global market leader, and if individuals or investors alike are are certainly embracing that, even with Chinese trade concerns in the background, I think we did get a potential settlement with regards to ZTE, and Trump did state some sort of comments regarding a potential. Uh, reconciliation there in terms of this so-called Chinese trade war so I'm not sure everybody believes that's going to happen because we all know Mr Trump can sort of literally U-turn uh, on a dime okay so in terms that's the uh, status quo in terms of Asian markets China still finished weak uh, Nikkei certainly rebounded okay so that's basically where we stand from the Asian markets perspective in terms of Europe this morning nothing of any real significant in, in, in significance in terms of economic data other than the fact that German Economy Ministry did say that German growth certainly did start to pick up, and especially orders as well. In terms of the US, uh, we're looking forward to uh, import price, export price, Michigan consumer sentiment, uh, Fed policymakers. Uh, we've got report there, and also Mr. Bostic is speaking as well. Uh, we've got the rig count. Uh, we have, in terms of rig count, in terms of oil, Russia has uh, obviously on the wires there, stating that they can potentially increase oil output by one million barrels per day. And again, that has uh, obviously keeps keep, keeps the bearish reverberations on oil, and in turn, obviously keeps the uh, indexes at bay, given the fact that they are linked to oil at present. Uh, in terms of Chinese data out overnight, again, exports, imports certainly came in stronger, and uh, the trade balance certainly strengthened as well. So that certainly won't please Trump. Either way, that's the status quo. Let's look at the uh, technical picture now. Jim Dax, uh, as you can see here, gapped higher, bounced off gap fill. Uh, again, looking to potentially either do hit a double top or obviously close the gap. Now, given the fact that Nasdaq has broken to new highs, the German DAX certainly needs to play catch up here. And uh, therefore, one would expect that gap to close at 12.610. So that's basically the way in which I'm trading it at the moment. Okay, in terms of the German DAX. Now, 60-minute chart, as you already know, uh, we're holding previous resistance equals support. And again, like I said, looking to target that gap fill above, given the fact that the Nasdaq certainly has come in, um, obviously, got a pip print a new high overnight uh, uh, we have had uh, economic well we have had earnings from jp morgan certainly coming in stronger than expected as well so that certainly should help sentiment to a large extent uh, the french cac again proving that uh, that resistance at 5440 is instrumental okay 60 minute charts you can see here thrusting through there now we still have the unfilled gap to close at 5450 and we've also got the unfilled gap at 5500 so watch out for those two gaps given the fact that we're still making higher highs and higher lows if you fail to uh, if, if obviously if you hold this resistance at 5440 then obviously we go lower look to close the gap below in terms of FTSE 100 we've thrust higher okay we uh, uh, surprisingly hit that level at 7715 even though we've got concerns regarding Brexit and also with regards to Trump's visit here as well undermining Theresa May and so on and so forth so I think the uh, the headlines are really out there for all to see uh, certainly does undermine the UK uh, and potential uh, UK special trade relationship, stating that uh, under the current uh, pretext of Miss May's uh, soft Brexit stance, that there will be no potential deal with the UK and the US going forward. And that certainly doesn't uh, obviously abode well either, especially given the fact that Miss uh, Theresa May has been parroting the fact that uh, the US, UK and US so-called uh, free trade deal is one to uh, look forward to, given the fact that uh, they are uh, obviously uh, post-Brexit. And that certainly isn't the case at all. So again, that certainly does cast doubt and suspicions upon that, which is obviously negative. In terms of Euro stocks, uh, I can certainly go through that, but much more or less another uh, potential uh, reflection of German DAX and French CAC that we are looking to potentially close the gaps above, given the fact that NASDAQ's made a new high. Okay, so on that note, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at Google Play and the Apple App Store, or alternatively visit the website www.tradesignal.com. 
www.bitcoinbeyond.com. Goodbye now.